morning, everyone. Oh my goodness, Lindo, you shave. You look so good. As I continued to look in the mirror every day, I saw myself continuously increasing to become a caveman. And I was like, no, this caveman lifestyle gotta stop. So today we'll be going to Elephant Trunk Mountain, which is located in the north coast of Taiwan. Basically, I have to go to back to Rufan Station, you remember that journey, and then from there transfer to Xiaoan Fisher Fishing Port Station. This is the actual bus that's going to Rufang. We arrived at Ruifang Station and it took about 40 minutes to get here. Um, now to figure out, there's a lot of people here, now to figure out how to get to Shenao Station. It, it brought me here to Baldeze. And the guy tells me, there is no Shen Ao, just Shen Ao. This is the place we stop and then that's it. And I'm like... What? Excuse me. This rock here reminds me of the Lion King and so I want to do like a quick scene. Can you hold the camera and point it there? Even though I'm confused as to how I got here and what this place exactly is, it is so awesome, I kid you not. The rocks literally look like it was out of a fantasy, out of a painting, out of something that came out of the mind. It is so unique. Specifically the formation and the colors. And you can see the actual waters just going by. You can see people fishing. There was this street cart over here that sold, well from my understanding it basically is a, um, a, a grilled sausage. Uh, put on top of a grilled, um, instead of bread, a grilled uh, rice uh, sausage. No. No. No, 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 I can't do this. Way too oily, I don't like the odd uh, texture of the rice and the oil along with the meat. It kind of tastes like it, it's like very processed. Excuse me, do you guys know where Shen Ao? Shen Ao? Yeah. Oh. You take this bus, okay. and uh, this is your destination. Okay, yes. thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's okay. Thanks so much to those guys over there. They clarified a bunch of stuff with me. Okay, so basically, I have to go wait over there and catch a bus. They gave me this post it I think it says Shen Ao. Hi, do you go here? After 30 or so minutes, a bus came. It's not the same bus number that the other people gave me, but I came on the bus, I showed the guy the actual Elephant Mountain in Chinese, and he said yes, or, and I was like, all right. While I was on the bus, he pointed to a certain area, and he was just like, walk there, walk there. So, thanks man, I appreciate it. So finally, I know I'm in the right spot because this actually says Shen Ao Port, which is exactly where uh, Elephant Trunk Mountain is located.
as you can see behind me, I'm at Elephant Trunk. Well, I believe I am. I didn't see the trunk yet. But there you can see all the waters. I am not that crazy enough to go any closer. Here is a good distance and here I can still see it. It's pretty crazy. But this feels like it would be like the Nimbus cloud, but instead in rock format. I can totally see this just flying by on my Nimbus rock. So I actually really like this. Right behind me is Elephant Trunk Mountain. Finally, this is what we've been waiting for. This is why we came here. Uh, I'm going to attempt, and I do say attempt, to go on the trunk. Uh, it looks really high. It looks really scary. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I'm not. I want to do that. I feel I'm slipping up. <laughs> okay, the camera made it. Now I could bring myself up. <laughs> we actually made it to the top of the trunk. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go all the way over there. I ain't crazy like I said before. I'm just gonna kind of like peek and that's it. Additionally, there's this little cave that you can go into. Um, I've actually seen some people go inside, but oh, absolutely not. Not this guy. No, not me. I'm going down Elephant Trunk Mountain. My goodness, it was great. Seriously, between Elephant Trunk Mountain and the other place we were at, I like Elephant Trunk Mountain better. It is super quiet. I'm the only one walking on the streets. Evening obviously has approached and I'm heading to the bus stop. I hope I'm heading to the bus stop because I don't even know if this is the same exact path that I walked. It doesn't, I just don't recall. This bus stop, I know it looks like a public bathroom, but it's supposedly a bus stop. This bus stop is where the bus will come to bring me to Rio Funk, so let's hope so. Patience is definitely being lost here. The bus, it just came, it said the sign, it said Tape, and it just passed me. I went like this too. I was like, dude, I'm here, don't ignore me. This dude just, I'm standing, I'm, I'm out here for 40 minutes. <sighs> I'm stopping this bus right here, right here. I cannot believe it. Rufan? Rufan? There? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Ah! Uh, he told me to wait here next to this thing, this bus stop that also looks like a public bathroom. And so, hopefully the bus comes soon and doesn't pass me. This little shop that I'm frustrated, but I'm about to change that now by putting some music and dancing that away. You go to Rufa? No. How wonderful. I'm not as frustrated as I was anymore. But now I'm hot. And, that, and now that's a new problem. After an hour of waiting for the bus. Oh my goodness, that was such a long hour. It was gruesome. But now we're going to Rufang. Ah, man, I hope so. I really hope we're going there. I asked him, he said yes. I've arrived at Rufang. It took about 20 minutes. I just want to go back to Taipei. Oh, no. Have a nice day. Hey, you too, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Enjoy Taiwan. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I asked him how long do I have to wait for Taipei. I gotta wait 30 minutes. I understand that, you know, it's not the, the city center. And so over here, things are slower. But it, I'm really feeling it. I think I spent nearly three hours just waiting. Not on transportation. Just waiting for the train or the bus. And so I've had enough of that. I apologize if it sounded like I was a bit negative throughout some of the journey, but look, I'm keeping it real with you. I have no interest in creating this facade-like image of, oh, it was so awesome, everything was great, it was well worth the time and everything. No, it was a pain in the butt. My goodness, I waited for nearly three hours just 
waiting for buses and trains. That doesn't count when I was actually there. So yes, it's a pain in the butt. But you know, I'm going to be honest about it. I'm not gonna hide it. It only took about four minutes. I'm excited to be in Taipei City. I came to this restaurant over here because they do uh, some Japanese food. And so I saw that they had a donburi, which is fish on rice. The rice is cold. It literally tastes like cooked rice, put in the fridge overnight and served without heating it. Ching one. Is the rice supposed to be cold? Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, let's go. So from that salmon bowl, I am not stuffed or satisfied at all. So I went next door, they have these um, dumplings that are different from the other ones that I've had before. Because inside is actually fried a leek. The leek is very flavorful, you have that nice flavor to it. It's not my favorite because I like the actual dumpling wrapping to be quite thin. This one isn't. Behind me they're doing some Chinese New Year stuff as you can see. What I like about this is that even though Chinese New Year is still going on and they're working they're integrating it together so they're working but they're doing Chinese New Year here look there's a bunch of people there they're all celebrating they're all happy and everything even though they're working even though they're open I think that's awesome they're really having fun This is so cool. I think you see this is actually my first kind of like uh, Chinese New Year experience because remember the other well yesterday it was Chinese New Year and it was like so empty and I had to be creative. But this is the first time I'm actually seeing like a group like celebrate it outside, being cheerful, giving out gifts to each other, and just just really in a good mood. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Good. You're welcome. Cheers. I don't know why I clapped. Bye bye. Bye. I'm going to end it for today. It was such a long, awesome, horrendous, ridiculous, great, long journey, wasn't it? And uh, that's it for today. I will see you on the next video. Please don't translate. My foot just got stepped on, but it's okay.